We're homeowners. <laughs> with them to indicate that everything was done and then we had to get our title checked or whatever and we sent paperwork to the people to go back to the underwriter and we asked them we were like when can we move do y'all know when this process is going to be over and they basically were like i mean you've already you did a closing with us already so ask the lady who's in charge of the draw schedule because she's the one who's going to know that we were like Oh, okay. It was very anticlimactic. And we emailed her and she goes, well, usually the builder will give you the keys when he's been paid and uh, his bank account should have that money by the end of the night. So it's between you and your builder. And we were like, what? <sighs> we're homeowners. <laughs> like we still have to sign some paperwork, but they were like, you're like the closing, like other people who we thought really made the official decision were like, no, we're done with you, babe. We just gotta like confirm some things on our end, but you're done. So we're done and we're moving this weekend. It's happening. <laughs> Three and a half years we've saved, 11 and a half months we've built and you're done. And we're moving the weekend of my, what would have been my Nana's 80th birthday and I don't believe in coincidences. I just don't. Should have been 80 this weekend, so. She, she had a hand in this, for sure. So. <laughs> Happened. What a time. All this was super light, like held acrylic or glass or silverware, so don't freak out. But this is everything I've been doing today. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's chaos. We're back from the baby doctor. Time to clean up this closet, get it nice. <laughs> I don't want to do it. We're starting with this side, because I already did that side. So um, that only took me like 10 minutes, which is great. I got a lot of it cleared out. I do get asked, I always have to mention this. I don't um, sell any clothes. I don't have time to honestly, to deal with the bargaining and the, and the posting and all that. Um, it's just too much. And I don't love to donate to places that then turn around and just make profit off your clothes. I donate to a couple local charities. My favorite one, um, either they do sell the clothes and it goes directly to the women's shelter or the clothes go to the women's shelter. Um, I'm not sure. I've never asked them what their criteria is for like what gets sold versus what gets donated directly to them. But that's like basically 100% of your donation is in some way going to the women's shelter. Um, so that's where I prefer to donate. It's a really good local charity. Uh, so <sighs> that's where that one goes and I have a pretty good pile of stuff here um but I have to organize it before I before I back it up and I'm just literally avoiding it right now by talking on the vlog channel I hate I hate going through my closet so much but I did but I did drink my Starbucks this morning and then I figured I would just use this instead of dirtying up another cup because we're literally going to be living off like paper plates and paper cups and solo cups and stuff like that um raspberry leaf tea we are up to three cups a day i can drink up to three cups a day i've been a little distracted doing it so i'm trying to like get on track because it's so good like it just it helps your uterus get the strength for labor so we want to be strong and ready for labor 
Yeah, it's so bland though. There's like nothing you can add to it that actually makes it taste good. There's things that make it taste okay, but like it's just not a good tea. A really good cat attack to start the freaking day. I'm really stressed out. I don't. Cat scratches are just so. can be such a freaking hassle to get healed. And like doing it while pregnant, I'm just a little stressed about it. But not even seven on move in day. And we had to put Allie in a crate. She's the size of a bus. And doesn't like crates. So it was really hard. And she was fighting Sam. And out of absolutely, I was like trying to hold the crate and out of absolutely nowhere, Salem came up and completely attacked me. I've never had him act like, like I've never even, I didn't even know he could act like that. That, it, it was, I mean, and he's very close to Allie, like the two of them are BFFs. Like they, I mean, they, they fight between the two of them, but like that's his girlfriend, we joke. And so I guess he just heard sister in distress and was not about it but I took the heat for it and these tiny little things hurt very bad and I don't even know where band-aid is. I do know that I have some like I think I have triple antibiotics somewhere in here. I do. That's good. And it's the really good kind. It's the Bactroban or whatever stuff. My mom loves this stuff. God, it hurts. My hand is like actually swollen. I cannot, <laughs> the fact that this freaking happened. Like I did not even know Salem was capable of acting like that. I'm gonna go ahead, you're okay. I'm gonna go ahead and hit you and meet him. Yeah, all right. Okay. Love you. I love you. If, if you get him like up, you know, you can definitely bring him and eat breakfast so we might just finish up before you or whatever. Love, love you. you. Bye. We were up until, so it's officially now 7 a.m. We were up until midnight last night. Um, and we woke up about 20 minutes ago. We still have like a decent amount of stuff. It like looks like we haven't done much, but I'll kind of do a quick little walk through one more time. It's crazy. Life's about to get crazy, crazy, crazy. So we've got the fridge cleared off because we are going to take this today. It's also like cleaned out. Sam literally left water, half and half for coffee and a bottle that we already made for Ezra. There was a microwave stand here, gone, because it's the worst quality ever. Do not recommend it. Um, all this stuff is set aside. All this is going, Ezra stuff. TV tables are going, that's going in the game room. I thought this was gonna be taller, TVH. Like it, like it looks very tall in here. And then I know it, our new house, it won't. Um, these are going in the baby's room. And then that's going in our room. This is staying and actually just going in the trash because it's the worst quality ever. Also zero out of 10, don't recommend. Those are going, all that's going, that's going. Mirror is getting thrown away. Um, not my vibe anymore. Probably paid 90 bucks for it. So it's just not something I'm, I'm gonna waste the time on putting on Facebook Marketplace. Um, haven't decided on that, to be completely honest. Forgot it was even there. Just is something my eyes are so used to. Uh, this is going and then this is what's really weird. Like this is where I built, I mean, built my dreams, honest to God. Like. Got to come in here and make content for y'all and grow my Instagram, get all my internet friends. So it's weird. Dad gum it. I still have a drawer. <laughs> Shoot, let me empty that into, into a bin. But last time we will be doing an OOTD in the mirror in my closet. This is coming. Um this is what I'm wearing. This is my moving day fit. <laughs> Shoot. All right, this is why bins are amazing. Just put all this stuff. 
thousand percent meant to go to the store last night. Did it get to? So whatever. This it is what it is. I don't even care. And that's on packing. I tell ya, when you first start out packing, you're like everything's so organized and labeled by the end. Not so much. So we are at the house moving. Um, I had to do some laundry to distract myself because fun fact about me, I cannot let people do things for me while I watch. Like I have to be involved or help. I can't help nobody with nothing. No loud. So um, I did laundry <laughs> with just like we had done some laundry at the house last night and had thrown it in a basket. So they're actually doing their second load now and they're going to get the actual washer and dryer and then I'll get to actually do laundry. So my arm looks so bad. Where Salem got me, he's so scared. Um, I feel bad, but like at the same time, dude, don't be acting like that. So anyway, uh, we have some of our curtains hung. So this is our current sofa. This is not staying. Those are probably gonna move around a little bit. We have been using this obviously as a touchdown. My mom brought snacks. She took Chunky back to her house so he could nap because he wasn't napping well here. Um, we got our four bar stools in. And then, look. It's a pantry and it has our fridge in it. I'm so excited. So, of course, this was our fridge from the old house. We ended up not cleaning it out last night, like vacuuming it and, you know, wiping it all down because it was so late. So I'm gonna probably do that as soon as it, wanna let it you know, sit for a few minutes, kinda get a little bit colder. Um, well, maybe I guess I could do it now, but it doesn't really matter. And then, got our outdoor furniture, some of that is put out, it's chaos. But for it to only be, what, 10, 28, we have done so good today. So that's not staying in here, that's going in the office. Um, bed frame's up. Our side tables are in. Look what my dad got me. It's a quote from his favorite movie. Bread so this bread that this house may never know hunger. Salt that life may always have flavor and wine that joy and prosperity may reign forever. It's from his favorite movie. So he got me these things, so cute. That's my drawer cabinet. We don't know exactly where that's gonna go yet. Then this is all the chaos. And then we're back in the closet. So we only have my coats left. So we're doing pretty good as far as like space goes. Um, I still have a good chunk of space, but need to get the rest of my shoes in. And I think we're doing pretty good. Um, my makeup cart is at the house. So like I can't, there's certain things. Basically they brought all the big stuff first and I didn't get the chance to, like I couldn't help them. So there's, only so much I can unpack, but there's boxes at the house. So now they're going back to get the boxes and hopefully I can um, unpack from there and like actually, you know, be effective. Mm -hmm. 